In this video, we'll be converting linear velocity to angular velocity. The problem that we'll be looking at is a wheel 30 inches in diameter is traveling at 40 miles per hour. What is the angular velocity of the wheel in revolutions per second? So our given information, the rate is 40 miles per hour. So that's what we're going to start with. And then we're going to use unit multipliers to convert that. So 40 miles per hour. And per, remember, means divided by. So one hour. Now we're wanting to go to revolutions per second. And we know that one revolution is the same as one circumference. And one circumference is equal to two pi times the radius. Now, if we have a wheel that's 30 inches in diameter, that means that all the way across is 30 inches. So our radius is going to be 15 inches. So we need to go from miles to feet, and then from feet to inches, and then from inches using our circumference to revolutions unit multiplier. So that's our plan of attack. So let's uh, get rid of the unit miles. And we'll do that by putting miles in the denominator. So these words will cancel. And we know one mile is 5,280 feet. Let me go ahead and cancel the word miles off. Now I'm in feet per hour. Now before I can make the jump from uh, my circumference, which is in inches, to revolutions, I need to change this unit to inches. So I want to cancel off feet and go to inches. And I know that one foot is 12 inches. So I can cancel the word feet off. Now I'm ready to put my circumference in. My circumference will be 2 pi 15 inches. That's because this is my radius. So I have inches and my circumference, remember, is 2 pi 15, because 15 is my radius, inches. Those are all multiplied. Now this is my circumference, so I can use one revolution in the numerator, and now this will be my unit multiplier that converts from linear velocity to angular velocity. There's the jump right there. Let me cancel off the word inches. And now I'm in revolutions. So all I need to do is change my unit of time. I need to cancel off hours. So since this hours is in the denominator, I'll have hours in the numerator. And one hour is 60 minutes. Cancel the hour units off. And then I need to get to seconds, so let me cancel off the minutes. 
and go to seconds. And I know that one minute is 60 seconds. And these words will cancel. So now the units that are left, I have revolutions in the numerator and seconds in the denominator, which is what I want, revolutions per second. Now if we do the math here, we have 40 times 5,280. Let me go ahead and open the numerator with parentheses. So 40 times 5,280 and then times 12. And uh, the rest are ones. So that's the all of the numerator and then divided by and then open the denominator. I have 2 times pi times 15, 2 times pi times 15, times 60 times 60. Close my denominator up and hit equal. And so it looks like it's about 7.47. Again, my units were revolutions per second.